NBC5 First Warning Weather with Chief Meteorologist Tyler Jankowski. Well, Tuesday's, uh, I don't want to call it a storm up here because we don't know if it's going to Tuesday? Come up. Oh, you're yeah. just skipping over Friday. I was now. just going to say, we're talking about <laughs> no, skiing. Kidding, they I'm might kidding. be yeah, excited. I actually learned something. I never even knew that was a thing going on in New York. Yeah. But yeah, we'll have a little snow for our southern spots Friday night. And then Tuesday could be a blizzard. I just, it's dangerous to use the B word that far out. But I'm not saying for us. I just think somewhere in the Northeast, it might be over the ocean, east of Boston, but that's the kind of storm that we're watching for Tuesday. But the track, of course, is way up in the air. A beautiful shot here over Jay Peak. Clouds have finally lifted above the summit. So it's 20 with no snow falling for a change. I know there have been a lot of mountain snow showers in the area recently, but not right now and really not expected overnight. But this system here that's pulling into Michigan, it's just west of Detroit. That is what is coming our way at least a little bit for tomorrow night, but most of it will dive just to our south. Right now we've got 29 in Burlington. Down the road it's a 34 in Springfield. So here comes Futurecast with the clouds. Unfortunately, there's not a lot of change in that department for tomorrow. Still a few breaks of sun if you get lucky, but that would be the exception. And then as we get towards five o'clock, we see some snow by Syracuse and see how it gets a little bit into southern Vermont, especially Bennington and Wyndham counties, maybe up to the mountains near Killington. But very clearly, most of that goes south of us. And then slowly as we get into Saturday and especially Sunday, that's when we mix in some more sunshine for a change. So the overall map for Friday night brings a couple of inches into Springfield and Hartford. Just showing this as a heads up, if you're going south, it's going to be very snowy for a time early on Saturday. For us here, this is the local view. It's generally just a dusting to two inches. A couple of spots between Wilmington and Wardsboro, Vermont could pop to three inches or so. Then we warm up into the low 40s for early next week, and that complicates the forecast because not only do we have to figure out the track, in other words, how close, but temperatures are kind of marginal. So I think wherever this heavy snow sets up, it's a very pasty, wet snow that's heavy. And the white lines that are close together mean that it would be very windy as well. So there could be some outages with that wet snow where it sets up. Again, that's the TBD part of the Tuesday storm. The confidence is low, mostly just because it's so far out, but there are a lot of varying solutions on the model. So quiet for us tonight and for tomorrow. It's just that the clouds are still with us. 32 for Plattsburgh, Burlington in the mid 30s, and there will be even some low to mid 40s as you head down towards Springfield, Rockingham, and Brattleboro. So more sun. Really have to wait for Sunday to see a, a nice big chunk of the sky with sun. And the high will be 40. So the weekend, especially the second half, looks beautiful. And then that storm potential, it's a big potential Monday night and Tuesday. But again, still a number of days out. So we're just watching at this point. Liz, Brian.